guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's yeah. video, we are going to be doing a good old fashioned Sephora haul. I'm super excited to let you guys know what products I picked up. I also received some PR to talk about, so that's super exciting. And I did add an additional couple of items at the end of the video that are not from Sephora. There is one item from Chanel, as well as some new Charlotte Tilbury Lunar New Year lipsticks. I'm going to be comparing them to the other reds in my collection because I know you guys really want to know if there are any dupes in her collection so far. So if you guys want to see all of the new makeup as well as the little mini review on the Charlotte Tilbury Lunar Lipsticks, then just keep watching. All right guys, let's get right on into it. I'm gonna chat first about the items that I picked up from Sephora recently. Now this one is super exciting. You guys know that I really love a good hair mask and this brand recently came out with one. This is the Sol de Janeiro Triple Brazilian Butter Hair Repair Treatment. So this looks really exciting. It is the same packaging as their Boom Boom Cream. If you guys haven't heard, that's I think the item that they're the most known for. They've since expanded did that with a whole bunch of different items with the same scent. So this is the hair treatment and I'm just gonna see if I can smell it for you guys. It has a very distinct smell. Okay, so first of all, can you see it is bright yellow has the exact same smell. It just smells like a tropical drink. That's basically what it's like. So I'm really excited because you guys know I love testing these out for you. Some of my favorites are from Briogeo actually. So I'm gonna see how this one compares to some of my other favorites. It says here it is sulfate free, formulated without parabens, color safe, which is really good. It is a super nourishing triple butter treatment to transform and dramatically repair and replenish dry damaged hair. Leave on for 10 minutes. So pretty standard compared to some other masks. Here is the item all close up for you guys. You do actually get a fairly generous amount. I really love the cap. It's super cool and detailed with all of the information about the mask. So let me know, have you guys tried this and what do you think of it? All right, let's chat about the next item that I picked up from Sephora recently. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is just another shade in her Jewel lip gloss collection. So I actually picked up Champagne Diamonds and it's funny because I only picked this up because I saw my friend Aaron and Nicole wear it I think in an Instagram video she had like a get ready with me and she topped her lipstick with this and it was so beautiful it was like a peachy champagne color this formulation is nice and glossy and it does have a really nice shimmer component without looking like there's chunks of glitter or anything so that is why I love this formulation so Erin Nicole made me buy this one <laughs> so I caved and got it this one I'm really excited to top up with some of my lipsticks in the future I already know this is a good formula so I will let you guys know if it is consistent. I know sometimes when you get different shades, then the formulation can change a bit, but I'm hoping that this one is just like the other shade that I have. I believe the shade I have is Pillow Talk and it is also one that I really enjoy. Now I did pick up two new lipsticks from Dior recently and these were actually ordered from the Dior website but you can actually get them now at Sephora. So it looks like as of January 15th they added them into the Sephora inventory. When you order from a Dior Beauty it comes with a really beautiful textured white bag as well as a ribbon and there's also really cool like tissue paper detailing on the inside. So it really is a nice luxurious experience when you order from the website. You won't get that exact same experience from Sephora but that's okay because now you can get them at Sephora, which does open up the market to, I know some Canadians because you can't always get certain Dior products in Canada off of the website. It's really difficult to do that. So they've recently come out with the new shade 999 Velvet Red. And I did pick this up because it was something I wanted to compare to the Elisa Eldridge Velvet lipsticks that I absolutely love. The Rouge Dior line is actually refillable. You can actually refill this with any of the other finishes that they offer. So this is the 999 Velvet Red. This is super pretty. You can tell it's a very bold red. I'm not going to wear this with my eyeshadow because I think it's 
going to look like Christmas on my face. It does have Dior embossed into the lipstick, if you can see that, but it's a really beautiful red. So this is something I'm really excited to wear. I don't have a ton of bright colors in my collection. I typically go for pinks and beiges and just like nude everyday friendly colors because they're safe. Ooh, okay, this almost looks very similar to another lipstick I'm gonna talk about, but here we have 999. The formulation just by swatch is similar to the Lisa ones, but it almost feels a little bit thinner than her formulation so far. Now the other Dior lipstick that I picked up is a safe color, like I'm talking about. It is 100 Nude Look and it's beautiful. It almost has a gray tone to it. This is one that I can wear easily because it's just so easy to wear. It has enough of a pinkness to it that it's not going to wash you out. So with a bold eye, I decided to pair this lipstick with my eyes today. And I do think it is stunning together. So we do have the bright red then we have the charlotte gloss and champagne diamonds and 100 nude look you can see it does have an ever so slight grayness to it. it is so so beautiful sephora does carry quite a few of the rouge dior lipsticks now in varying finishes so i do think they are worth checking out for sure i want to give you guys a quick update on my pat mcgrath lipstick order so i did share a couple of the shades that i picked up from her gigantic lipstick blowout sale back when i did my what i got for christmas haul and two Two more finally arrived but one of them was missing so I ended up trying to get a hold of them it took me quite a long time to do so I remember I messaged them multiple times on Instagram messaged them multiple times via email they finally got back to me via email and issued a refund for actually the entire second order so I emailed them back again and said you didn't have to refund everything just the one lipstick you forgot and they basically said take the refund we screwed up it's been forever for our customer service response time so they owned up really well. So I do appreciate that. They did come around eventually. <laughs> but these two are the lipsticks that I got. So they're both from the Matte Trans line. The first one is Peep Show. The second one is Venus in Furs. Both of these I got for, I believe, 17 Canadian dollars. They're regularly over 50. So it was really, really nice to get some new shades from her. I'll show you them inside the bullets. So first you can see them here. Peep Show is actually the lighter one. And then Venus in Furs is actually fairly deep. For some reason, I thought it was going to be lighter and I don't know why, but <laughs> let's swatch them as well so we can see. You can see that Peep Show is actually a really beautiful pale pink, but to me, it's fairly light. So I'll definitely be trying it out, but it does look like you know, lighter than I usually go. And then Venus and Furs almost looks like deeper than I'd go, but still really beautiful. These were two swipes. They're incredibly richly pigmented. I do feel like they last a long time as well. And even though they're matte, they're really, really comfortable. And let's get into a couple PR products that I got recently. The first two products are actually from Peace Out Skincare. I haven't tried a single thing from this line and they did end up sending me the Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. And then we also have the Peace Peace Out Acne Serum. It's an acne clarifying treatment serum. You bet I'm gonna be trying the acne serum as well because as you know, I struggle on and off with hormonal acne just to my chin. So these are gonna be very, very good products to test out. The retinol stick is actually something that you're supposed to use daily at night. It says after cleansing your skin, you're supposed to swipe it, not wipe, on your entire eye area. And if you are sensitive, you're supposed to start with one time a week to get used to retinol. Now I don't use retinol. I don't think. No, I've never used retinol yet. So this is something I'm going to have to ease into for sure. So you can see here that it is like a balmy texture. It's kind of like a creamy white color and the plastic is really, really lightweight in the hand. So it is a lighter plastic feeling. This is what it looks like up close. So it does almost look like a lip balm for sure, but I'm excited to test this one out and see how it fares. I do have the beginnings of some eye wrinkles, I guess you could say, because I'm fairly expressive. So when I'm smiling now, I can see them starting to develop. So I'm gonna see how this one fares. The Peace Out Acne Serum actually has some salicylic acid as the active ingredient. It says it's 2% with niacinamide and vitamin C. This is one, let's see, apply product to a small area once a day for three days to test if you're sensitive. This is definitely gonna be something I would just use to target, just like how they're saying. You don't have to put it all over the face, just for acne prone areas. So this is the product here. You do get one fluid ounce, which is really nice as well. I do like the packaging. It is similar to the retinol one where it's nice and lightweight in the hand. It is a 
light beige color as well and it's clearly a pump application so I'm really excited to test this one out as well. Now going backward, I did actually forget about one product that I did recently pick up as well. This is actually another Pat McGrath lipstick, but I was a sucker and got this for full price. <laughs> I believe that she had this shade on for her sale as well, but it sold out pretty fast. This is the Matte Trance Lipstick in Elsin, and this is actually a shade that I've talked to quite a few of my subscribers about, especially if you're looking for a true blue red. This is the one that I think is the one for you. It's really, really stunning. This one is actually in her Celestial Divinity packaging. I actually just happened to get this just because I was shopping for this shade, not because of the packaging, but it's a nice surprise to get that nice packaging. So here is Elson on the hand. You can see it is beautiful. It's definitely a nice deep red, just a statement lip for sure. Like I said, I'm not going to pair this with my eyes because like, wow, <laughs> Christmas on your face, but it's really nice and smooth. This is one swipe, instant pigmentation, just like the rest of the matte trans line. So this is another shade that I picked up. This next item I did get from PR as well from Benefit Canada. So thank you to Benefit for this. This is the Professional Setting Spray. It is their new product. So this is really exciting because they've expanded their professional line. There are quite a few professional primers they already carry and it looks like this is the Super Set Setting Spray. It says this is a multitasking micro fine mist that leaves your skin feeling smooth, refreshed, and hydrated. I'm gonna see first of all if it has any fragrance just cause setting spray typically does. Okay, so there's perfume towards the bottom. So just so you guys know, if you are scent aversive, this is one that will have a little bit of perfume. But this is a gorgeous light blue color. I really, really love that. What it's supposed to do, it's supposed to lock in your makeup. It's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and extend the look of your makeup as well. So I'm gonna actually take off the cap so you guys can see. There's a cap as well as a clear cap. <laughs> so it's like extra protected and then it has a spray applicator as well so I'm excited to test this I'm actually going to refresh my makeup now and test it out and we'll see what happens Ooh, okay so it does have a slight perfume smell but not as bad as some and I could barely feel it on my skin it was quite micro fine almost feels like air so that's really exciting I'll definitely give you guys more advanced thoughts as I test it out in the next little while but we'll definitely update in a hits and misses this is a promising start though who doesn't love a good setting spray I don't know I definitely do <laughs> Now here are the last three items from PR. So once again, thank you to Lancome for sending these over. They just sent over their classic Sis Booster Lash Revitalizing Serum. This is something I haven't tried before, but I know it's very popular. So I'm going to open this one up and see. So this is a serum that you're supposed to apply to the lid, it looks like. Let me just see if there's any instructions. This is a lash serum for all lash types, even over processed ones. So it looks like it's a Kara Solution Complex that conditions the lashes root to tip. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried this because this is just like totally new to me. I do know it's popular. I don't wear extensions or anything. I just wear mascara. So I'll definitely test this and see if I notice any difference for sure. It's definitely intriguing. Like it looks really cool and luxe. Feels lightweight in the hand, but the gold packaging is really nice. So I am interested to see if this one works. Now Lancome also sent over as part of the Adole launch. They actually sent over the Adole Eau de Parfum, which is, this will be my first Lancome perfume actually. It actually looks like a flask. It is really beautiful. You can see the light bouncing off of it, but it's actually a see-through glass. So you can see that it has the fluid inside and it is very skinny also. I'll show you what I mean. So it will stand up, but it is definitely prone to falling over. <laughs> so just so you guys know that. I think some of the Lancome perfumes that I've smelled in the past were fairly floral. Okay, yeah, so this is floral for sure. I do smell slight citrus, but nothing crazy. It's it's very floral on top. Has a slight white muskiness to it also. It could be worn either way. It is a fairly lightweight smelling perfume as well, so it could be used for day, but for night, I can also see it as like a nice date night perfume too. So this is one I'm excited about. Thank you to Lancome once again for sending this over. I will absolutely test it and let you guys know if I think it's worth the money or not. Now this last product from Lancome is their new Idol Mascara or Idol Mascara. Let me know what is the right pronunciation. Is it Idol or Idol? This is their new mascara that's supposed to lift the lashes, have volumizing effects, and be clump free. Super, super beautiful. Love the rose gold packaging. 
happening. When they announced this mascara, I was actually really excited to test it. So it just kind of worked out really well. That was a nice surprise to get an email from them. It's a bit lighter than I would say other high-end mascaras. Like it definitely feels lighter in hand. So here we have it up close. It is quite rectangular. You can see all the edging there. I'm going to see what the brush looks like. Ooh, okay. So this one is a shorter wand. You can see it doesn't have the length like some of the other mascaras I have. Bristles are incredibly short. Can you guys see that? Very, very, very short. And the wand has a slight bend to it. This claims to be a feather light gel formula for easy removal as well. It's infused with white tea and you do get up to 24 hours of wear, which... I don't think I'll be testing that because I'll be sleeping for some of that time <laughs> and you shouldn't wear makeup while you're sleeping, but I do like the long wearing aspect. So I will definitely keep you guys up to date on this one. Now let's talk about the Chanel product that I just wanted to add at the end of this haul. This is something I picked up from Chanel Canada. So it is available at Chanel Canada right now. The two quads for spring 2021, I haven't seen on Chanel Canada yet. I have seen them on and off on Chanel US as well as other countries. So I'm excited to try those out when I can get a hold of them. But Chanel is definitely a brand that makes it very hard to order their quads online. As you guys know, I do have a American parcel service that I can grab some American inventory from, but Chanel will not send product to an American business and the parcel service I use is considered a business. So they flagged that address and I couldn't order them. <laughs> which is sad. Plus you need an American credit card. So it's another thing to think about. I don't have an American credit card because I think you would need an American address. So unfortunately I do have to wait till it comes to Canada. Let me know if you are Canadian and you've seen them, but here is the product I'm talking about that I got first. This is the blush duo. It is the Fleur de Printemps blush duo for spring 2021. It does have really beautiful flower embossment in the powders. So you can see here that it is absolutely stunning. It actually looks like it's going to stretch over many skin tones as well, which I appreciate because it is fairly deep. So I will keep you guys posted on how these translate on the skin but I am so excited to try this it just looks visually beautiful I love the fact that the embossment is not super deep in the compact I want to know now and I think you guys want to know too <laughs> I'm also wondering if this is going to be similar to the formulation of their other blushes as well like the Jus Contrast which I really really love when you swatch the Jus Contrast it is one that you do have to build up it's fairly sheeny as well so when you actually build up on a swatch it looks light at the beginning but it gives a really nice sheeny glowy effect to the skin. I'm excited because this is what the shades look here. You can see that the pink has a bit of a shine to it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this on your wish list? Now, just like the Dior detailing, when you order Dior makeup online, when you order Chanel, very similar, a small white bag, just like Dior, it does open up a little bit too, and you can see there's tissue paper on the inside. So it's also another luxury touch when you order from their website. So as promised, I do have all three of the Charlotte Tilbury Lunar New Year lipsticks. There are two in the Matte Revolution formulation, as well as one in the Kissing formulation. Now the difference between them is Matte Revolution is a matte formula. The kissing one is much more creamy and has a lot more slip, I would say, but both are very, very comfortable. So I'm going to actually swatch all three of them as is. And then I do have a couple of thoughts about comparisons because that's the question I keep getting a lot of is, are they similar to other shades? So the first one is Rose Wish. Rose Wish is a matte revolution formulation. You can see that it has a gorgeous red bullet. It is a really gorgeous deep red. I believe these bullets are limited edition. They have gorgeous studded casings to them and then there is that lips kind of embossment right into the lipstick, just like the other Matte Revolutions. This is super, super stunning. I love the packaging that drew me right away. <laughs> so this is the first one. The second Matte Revolution is Lucky Cherry. This is a really bright red, but zoomed in exact same packaging as the Rose Wish. So the same studded red metallic packaging also has the lips on the lipstick, just like the other Matte Revolution formulation and this one too super beautiful you can see it actually looks stunning in hand the last one is in the kissing formulation this is sweet blossom 
and I'm actually gonna swatch that also right beside the other two. Now this one too, just like the others, exact same casing with a studded metallic packaging, and this one is also a red. I would say this red is a little bit more of a beige tone as well, and now I'm going to be comparing all of them to other existing shades that I have. There's only one lipstick that I think is very, very similar to one of these. The other ones actually are different. So here we have all of the Lunar lipstick shades. The first one, Rose Wish, on the far left. The second one, that orange red, is Lucky Cherry. And the one on the far right is Sweet Blossom. Sweet Blossom is the kissing formulation and the other two are Matte Revolution. So let's first talk about the first shade, which is Rose Wish. This is the first Matte Revolution and the deepest one out of the three. Here we have the comparisons that I have in my collection. So from left to right, the first one is Super Starlet. This is from her most recent launch with the nude lipsticks. So Super Starlet is on the far left. We have Rose Wish in the middle, and then we have Am I Kiss on the far right. And my Kiss's old name was Bond Girl, so if you happen to have Bond Girl, it's the exact same shade. They do have some similarities with regards to having some purple in them, but I do think that Rose Wish still stands on its own as a deep brown red. The other ones more are brown purples. So I do think that although close, Rose Wish is still different enough. Now when it comes to Lucky Cherry, the only one that I have that's actually even sort of close is this one, which is Red Carpet Red. Red Carpet Red is on the right and Lucky Cherry on the left. You can still see that Lucky Cherry is definitely lighter and much more orange toned than Red Carpet Red. Now because I have this lipstick right in front of me, earlier on in the haul, I talked about 999 Velvet from Rouge Dior, which is right here. So now looking at the comparisons, you can see that Rouge Dior is actually closer to Lucky Cherry than Red Carpet Red, but even the Dior one is a little bit different. So Lucky Cherry compared to the Dior, still a little bit pinker, I would say, but they are similar in shade. Now let's talk about the last Lunar Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury's collection this year. This is Sweet Blossom. And the closest comparison that I have is actually Glowing Gen from her Hot Lips 2 collection. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we have Sweet Blossom on the left and then Glowing Gen on the right. These two are the closest, but Glowing Gen still is slightly pinker. So I would say it's translating very similarly on camera, but Glowing Gen being on the right is still slightly, slightly different. Which products are you guys the most excited about? I will definitely be updating you guys in a hits and misses about all of these products and if they were a hit for me or if I think that you should just skip them, save your money for something else. Until my next one, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye, guys.